There we go! Oh, 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 oh. Fourth Master's Log in Gameplay! Hello everyone, and welcome back to another playthrough of Hitman from 2021. This is Fourth Man's Steering Wheel, and today we have infiltrated the mansion. And we are playing as Murloc Holmes. We're currently trying to find a freaking watch. Or a, cl a clock, that is. That is not that clock. That's gonna give us an, a number. Oh, we found it. We found it. Where is the number? There, a one. Found it. We were so close. Okay, okay, okay. I will not be able to remember this by myself, that's for sure. All right, so first we're gonna go for clock. Clock is gonna be a one. Then we have the telescope, that's gonna be a nine. Then we have the fireplace, which is gonna be a seven. And then we have the moose, which is gonna be a five. Oh, those fights are ours. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Yes, but first we're gonna check out this creeper room over here. Another creeper room. Unicorn horn. Where does. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. No, we can't use the unicorn for that. But we have explored everything here on the top floor, if I'm not mistaken. Camera intel. Oh, on this first floor. So we can go and photograph that. All right, let's go and find that then. Oh, maybe we should leave the gun. Gonna leave it here for now. I found that in uh, this orientator self. That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. Wait, I haven't been in there? Okay, uh, first of all, we need to find uh, the, the suit. And I hid the suit where exactly? All right, it should be over here. Sup? Sup, dude? There we have it. Let's see, we found their room over here. This is the room we haven't checked yet. Oh, what? Oh, this is the thing to open the... A walking key. This is the thing to open the different uh, doors. Now, this is interesting, 47. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. The plot thickens. So they murdered in their own, uh, let's see here. Letter from Emma's mother. A letter from Emma's mother found in the room which Emma and Gregory Carlyle are staying. And the letter details that Emma's father was the late Montgomery Carlyle, Emma, Alexa and Zachary's older brother, and the two younger siblings murdered him. Apparently the two murderers were unaware that Emma's mother were expecting his child. So if I understand it correctly, our target and her brother killed their common, uh, their sibling, uh, Montgomery. Then Emma found out she is the illegitimate, illegitimate uh, child of him, and then she might. Uh, Emma is the is definitely the. Um... A keychain pendant for the greenhouse. What's that doing in Emma and Gregory's room? I wonder. And why is the key missing? Emma is definitely very sus. Let's see if we can find a place where we can open a secret doorway. 
There we have it. A secret room. All right, then we. An old letter, forty-seven. Never opened. Must have slid under the secret door nearly forty-six years ago. It states that Alexa Carlyle's older brother Montgomery wanted Alexa to become the heir to the Carlyle Empire instead of himself. Hmm. Interesting. You're an excellent detective, 47. Uncovering truths half a century old. If you frame it correctly, I believe you could use the information to convince Madame Carlyle that Zachary committed suicide. Maybe you should ask Mr. Fernsby to see her. Or perhaps you feel like digging a bit more. I'm definitely digging a bit more. And I leave the cane here. I need to get downstairs. Let me out! Anything to report? Nothing to report. Yeah, hey, bro. Is that how you greet the world's greatest detective of all time? Let's see, there's a room over here which I haven't entered yet. That is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. How are things coming along inside? Is everything ready for tomorrow? Fine fields. I trust you'll have all the trimming done by tomorrow. All will be neat and tidy. I'm getting a headache from all the decisions. I mean, pram or stroller, comforter or not. Should I ask her to marry me? What if she says no? And then this big funeral thing tomorrow? And his funeral tomorrow? The mansion key. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother Montgomery 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. So Fernsby is a bad guy after all. But Mr. Fernsby did not write his suicide letter though. Painkiller. Lethal if you use enough of them. But not the poison used to kill Zachary. Of course, Madame Carlyle doesn't know that. Are you considering to frame the butler, 47? Mr. Fernsby clearly didn't commit the murder. But I think you have enough evidence to convince Madame Carlyle he did. Maybe you should tell him you are ready to present your findings. Unless, of course, you want to do some more detecting, 47? I'll do some more detecting. You look tanned. I bet Mother spent the last week at her Cypress estate. Am I right? I'm not at liberty to say, ma'am. Oh, come on. I need to know what's going on. This affects me too, you know. Where is even Emma somewhere? I don't know where if I've questioned her. Greenhouse, let's go to the greenhouse. There we have the feverish Lee greenhouse. There's Emma and some poisonous. Why did it have to break on me now? This is the last thing I need. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, oh, though. You startled me. I, I was just, I don't know, thinking about Zachary. He spent most of his life in here with these plants. Not much of a life, is it? 
Well, anyway, I'll be outside if you need me. If you'd excuse me. Emmer Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around 8 o'clock. Is that all? How did you feel about Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Anything else you want to know? Have you noticed anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one, letting him believe she was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Mm -hmm. The wife of Gregory and daughter-in-law to Madame Carlyle. Emma is suspected in the murder of Zachary Carlyle. She claims to have gone to bed with an awful migraine with Edward and Gregory and had a drink. Uh, awkward. Okay. Thickens. Let's open all the doors. So let's see one more kind of we have. There's only two that aren't uh, out of the question. We have found out five out of six clues in Sakura's bedroom. We have find three out of four in Emma and Gregory's. One and one out of two in Rebecca's. All in there. Uh, oh, there's one more clue here. But what more clues could it be here? If you wanted to get her attention. Oh. I, I don't know her that well. She doesn't live here, and when she's here, she's always really busy. Always on the phone, or, or reading papers, or email. Do you mind? I need to be left alone, okay? Wait, there's a gun here? Why were you a gun there? Must have been dropped out somewhere. Well, I'm not gonna solve the entire case here by playing myself. I will obviously have to look up the clues for help. Come have a drink with me. I can give you some advice on how to relax. Did you say something? All right, where is the butler? Bring me, there is the butler. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. No need to panic. This is going slow. Let's wrap it up quickly. 
Let's wrap it up quickly. Oh, I really don't hope they help find the bodies now. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, hmm? go claim your reward. <sighs> Who broke this? Who's been at the safe? Yeah, I wonder who. And where are the guards? What is happening here? Somebody has taken the case file. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, go ahead. The butler, Mr. Fernsby, killed Zachary. Fernsby? Oh, you've got that wrong. He would never do such a thing. He is the most loyal man I have ever met. I found pills in his office that matches the poison that killed your brother. Furthermore, I found Zachary's notebook, half burned, in Mr. Fernsby's fireplace. It showed that Zachary intended to publish a written confession to a murder the two of you committed nearly 50 years ago. The murder of your older brother, Montgomery. That's outrageous. We did no such thing. No need to feign innocence. I know a killer when I see one, and my discretion is assured. The papers also described how Mr. Fernsby helped you stage the murder of Montgomery as an accident. I believe he killed Zachary not to be exposed as an accomplice to murder. Sweet Fernsby. You are wrong, Mr. Whitmer. He did not do it to protect himself. He did it to protect the Carlisle legacy. Mr. Fernsby, like myself, understands that sacrifices must be made to secure stability and prosperity. Mr. Whitmer, I'd appreciate it if your findings never leave this room. I understand Fernsby's actions, and there is no need for them to have more consequences than they already have. Fernsby was very fond of Zachary, and I am sure his decision will haunt him to the day he dies. About your reward, have you considered an amount? I'll send you an invoice. Thank you, Mr. Whitmer. I trust you'll see yourself out. I need some privacy. Thank you. All right, let's continue the other targets. So we're gonna go for the photographer. The thing is, there is um, a sh not achievement, but a challenge to make him uh, do the picture properly. So we're gonna do that just, and then we're gonna do the mission in a while. Bunch of old junk. Must be a hundred years old at least. I don't know how the Brit stand. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'll take it from here. Just sit back and relax. Okay, but take care. Interesting. One less to worry about. Wow. Or wait, we're gonna do this. Oh, 
contact. Wait. Mission complete. Well done, forty seven. What? I, I did not kill her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. What the hell? We're looking for any other casualties on the way. How copy? Over. Hello. It's, it's just me. I'm going to be a little late tonight. I think I'm going to stop off at Jess's on my way to your place. I just... I just saw some heavy stuff and I feel like I'm going to need to talk and I don't want to lay everything on What? What? It's unfair of me. I I did not poison that. I am 100% sure. I know you do. Well, I'll see you later. I did not poison her. Okay, uh Well, the shootout begins now then. Let's go and get our proper uniform and better weapons. It must have been uh, the sibling or something because I did not kill her. Wait, have they been in here? Let's go and get the shotgun. Ah! The thing I dislike about uh, Hitman is it's so incredibly hard to find your way around. Especially with the how to get up and down. It's not easy made uh, houses. Alright, let's see here. We got yeah, over here. Oh, yes. We could go for one of those shotguns. Let's go. The real hunting begins now. And they're like, why are you so heavy armed? Well, do you really want to know? Do you really want to know? Don't wave that around. You have been terminated permanently. Holy shit, gunshot. Get into gear. Understood. Son of a bitch. Someone raid Comes it comes it to me. Go for the shotgun. Oh my god. Just... Mother is dead, Gregory. You need to move that off and help me figure out what the hell is going on. Oh, get off my back, will you? I'll see to things. I'm sure her people will know what to do. There you get for murdering people. It's, it's eerily quiet.
Having a shootout. Let's see where he's gonna go. Whoop. Oh, I'm terrible shot here. Drop it. Drop it like it's hard. Drop it like it's hard. There isn't many security guards around. <laughs> kind of funny, actually. They haven't reacted out there. Have you heard? You're all fired. Can somebody please help me? I can't dress as him. Oh, you're not gonna escape. Yeah, I wonder who it could be. It's dinner time. You ratted me out. No. Stay down. Melek Holmes, the notorious serial killer. Come here, come back. Try to hide. You cannot hide from the justice. Gonna be the, known as a Carlisle uh, massacre. I really wonder where they are hiding. These people haven't gotten the message yet. You've been fired. Someone, please help me. Where's the caretaker? Found him. Oh, 
Open the door. Come back here. There was someone who's still alive. After all this. Wait, someone must have taken my briefcase then. Wait, you haven't reacted during all this? Let's go take the boat. Oh, you're still alive. Let's see where the boat are. Well, there's one boat, but can I use it? No, I cannot. I thought I had a motorboat and all those. I should be able to escape with the boat and all that. Entirely very strange. Should be able to go by car. So I have to go all the way over there. Imagine living like this. I would be creeped out uh, like all the time. This is not comfortable. Not co comfy. 47. They're everywhere. Go, get out. It's the Constantine. Shit. Ah, oh, Jesus. That they ex explain. Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. 
You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I'll look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. We're all that's left now.